Hello, welcome everybody to the Sanctuary Christian Center. This is Pastor Sims once again. We are getting started in prayer today, and today we are praying on fighting temptation. We're going to speak to that and, and pray about that and believe God for miracles in regard to prayer. Uh, I trust that you had a great day in the Lord. Uh, as I'm preparing for, for prayer, I'd like to come to you with a theme. And I begin to think about temptation and what does it mean, being tempted or tested. That's what we're going to be praying about, uh, that fighting temptation. Temptation describes a battle uh, that is as much spiritual as it is emotional as well as it is physical. Everyone is tempted at some time in their lives uh, in regard to some situation, uh, something that's going on in your life. We are all tempted. Even Jesus was tempted. He truly was. He was tempted as well. Hello, Frank. And so we want to be able to understand that. Please take the time out to share this with other individuals and let them know that we are praying in the sanctuary. Praise God. Hallelujah. We are praying. Hebrews 4 and 15 says, We have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Yet without sin. Temptation happens when opportunities and is present, and we don't know what what is wrong, whether it's against God, whether it's against ourselves. Sometimes we don't know. It's like, what is going on with this temptation that's, 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 uh, that, I, that seems to follow me? Ah, seems to follow me. Uh, uh, being tempted is not wrong. It's the decisions we make in regard to right and wrong and how we respond to the actions. And there are consequences that follow that as well. So we need to be understanding of that. Sometimes we can confuse God's temptations with testing. And we don't want to do that. What is the test that God is providing me? And sometimes life seems to be cyclical. I've gone through a situation and I appear to be going through it again. Maybe we didn't get it the first time. It's coming back to us again. And so we didn't get it the first time. And so here it is, the lesson again. God, help me to get it so I can reach some finality to this situation, whatever it is that, that is present before me. And that's the kind of prayer we want to be praying. Uh, the difference when God asked Abraham to, to sacrifice his son, Isaac, that was a test. He was testing him, not just a temptation. He was testing him for his obedience and was he trusting God. So sometimes situations occur in our lives when we are, are we, are we really uh, uh, allowing God to test us and will we make it through the test? That's what's most important sometimes. Am I going to make it through this test that is before me? Temptation can occur on many levels. We may be tempted to eat something that we shouldn't for health reasons. We'll be trapped in a harmful pattern of doing a situation the same way and we know that it's not good for us. Uh, uh, it may be a one-time event, uh, but let's 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 not uh, let's not be drawn into that temptation. The pur pur the purpose of temptation is to bring out the worst in us and for us to learn to overcome situations. Very important for us. The Bible says to us, "There hath no temptations." First Corinthians ten and thirteen, taking you such as common to man, but God is faithful. Our God is faithful. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way of escape that we may be able to bear it. Our God is so wonderful for us. And tests come. Tests may come for us uh, 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 to see so that we can uh, 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 know that we are connected with God and we're not relying on our strength, but we're relying on the strength of the Holy Ghost. That's when the test may come, that you, we say a certain thing, it is presented before us. God, this is a test for me. Yes, this is a test for me. He says, blessed is the man that endured temptation. For when he is tried, James 1, 12 through 16. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to them that love him. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempted he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away in his own lust and enticed. Then when lust has conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Do not err, my beloved brethren. That's what the word of the Lord says for us. 
test comes, tests and trials may look alike. He gives the test, a, 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 a test before us. We, we need to be able to understand that what God is doing to us so that he can raise an awareness in us. Are we walking in him? Are we trusting him for every situation that comes our way? He puts that right before us so that we can rely on God and not on ourselves. That's what's so important. Hello, Benita. Good to see you online. And thanks for the Father's Day gift. And so we want to bless the Lord and just, just say, oh, God, help me through these times, these trying times uh, that I'm going through. Help me, God, that whatever I'm going through. And we have to know that victory is already ours. My last verse of scripture as we go into prayer. But thanks be to God, 1 Corinthians 15, 57 through 58. This is God's word for God's people. And he says, but thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Help us, God, as a people, as your people. Bless us, God, hallelujah, through our walk with you. Lord, every day it seems like trials are before us and temptations and tests are before us. Help us to be able to distinguish the difference between them. Am I tempted? I don't want to be drawn away in my own lust. I don't want to be caught up in that, that sin that seems to draw me away because I'm drawn away in it. And I, I, I state that I will continue in this vein. But Lord, we have the power. And so we thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit that is within us. Your power that keeps us, the keeping power of Jesus, that can keep me when I can't keep myself, Lord. Help us because I know, according to the word of the Lord, that my God is faithful. Lord, help us to be faithful unto you as you have and continue to be on our behalf, God. We sit on the right-hand side of the Father, make an intercession on our behalf, Father. Help us to trust you in our walk, God. Help us to trust you and yield to you, Lord Jesus, and, and ask you, God, for guidance. Ask you that you would keep us, keep our minds, God, in the center of your will. Lord, help us, God, in our weakest moments where we're weak yet, then the Holy Spirit would lift up a standard and give us the strength that we need. Lord, we pray the more in you for your guidance, Lord. Help us, Lord Jesus, in all of our trials and tribulations and everything that we're going through, God. Help us to be able to endure the test that you put before us consistently, Lord. If we say we love you, then we got to walk in love. If we say we trust you, God, there will come a time when that trust time will be put to a test. Yes, God, if I say that I'm waiting on you, God, it does not matter about my time for a day is unto the Lord is as a thousand years and a thousand years as of a day. Help me, God, to align myself with God's time, not my time, not my desires, not what I want all the time. God, it isn't about me. It has always been and will always be about you. Help us to trust in the Lord. My God, trust. I will trust in the Lord. They would sing that song. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord, I will trust in the Lord, till I die, till I die. Oh, we got to trust in you, God. Trust in you with all of our heart and just lean not to our own understanding and wait, God, wait on you, God. That's the hardest thing for us to do in the frailty, in the state that we're in, even walking in our humanity is waiting on God. You said wait on the Lord and be of good courage. Uh, so while we're waiting that our courage would surmount God, Lord, help us through these trying times of life that we're holding on to God's unchanging hand. We're holding on and trusting and believing you, God, by faith. All things are possible to he that believes, to her that believes, and we are believing in your word. And the only way that we can believe, God, is that that word would be hid in our hearts and that we might not sin against thee. That word that corrects and reproves, God, 
that gives us instructions, the word of God, the, Jesus, that is the immutable, infallible word of God, that we trust and stand on the promises of your word, Jesus, hallelujah, bless us in our walk, God, and that we're leaning not to our own understanding, but we're calling on the name of Jesus. We want to call on your on your name, God. There are moments that we need to have and need that are teachable moments for, for us, Father. Help us, God, that we will open up the word of the Lord, God. As I was reading the day, God, you would just lead us to a passage in Scripture. You would lead us, God, where to go, what to read. Father, at the appointed time when we're we are distressed, oh my God, hallelujah, and 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 we don't know what to do. That we begin to open up the Word of the Lord. That we begin to pray a prayer by faith and trust you by faith, God. That I would open up my Word and I would yield myself unto you, God, and that you would lead us in the Word to a Psalm, to a proverb, to a passage of Scripture that would enlighten us, that will give us what we need in you for that moment in time that will strengthen us, God, and it is an assurance that I have in you that my God is just as he said that he would be. He is the God that said that he would never leave us or forsake us, and so we continue to call upon the name of Jesus, for I know, God, through my life experiences that there is power in the name of Jesus. If I, if I can speak it, God, you can do it. Mm. Then, therefore, I need to trust you for it, God. If I can speak it, God, hallelujah, I can command it to be so. Uh, I can prophesy to the situation, to, to the circumstance, and believe you for it like never before before God, hallelujah, and begin to trust you like never before. We want to trust you, God. We want to trust you. Help us in our frailty, God. Help us where we're weak yet, Father, and we know not what to say. We know not what to do, and we seem to come back to that same place of time that it seems to, to swallow us up constantly. We're in the same place over and over again, my God, but but my God is a deliverer, and we, we are assured that deliverance is now in the Lord our God, as we pray, God, we turn our face to the wall and we begin to pray and trust you like never before. My God, you are an awesome God. You are an awesome God. My God can do absolutely anything but fail. And so we call upon the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The very present help in my time of trouble, in my time of perplexity, in my time of distress, oh God, in my time of feeling alone, God, in my time when I don't know what to say, don't know where to turn to, when my finances don't seem to match what I need in, uh, to pay the bills or to continue on in life, then I will trust the Lord with my whole heart. I will, I will speak God life. I will not go into the negatives, God. I will speak positivity, for I know that my God can do absolutely anything. God, you are the creator of my soul, and I bless you. Help us to continue to bless you, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God, we bless you and we honor you. God, we bless you and we honor you. We bless you and we honor you, God. Keep us from temptation. Yeah, God, keep us in the center of your will. We pray for the dismukes as they are traveling to Louisiana on tomorrow. God, give them traveling mercies. God, as we pray the prayer by faith, God, that they're already covered by the blood of the Lamb, God. We thank you, God, that we shall not yield ourselves to temptation. And now that we are Christian soldiers in this blessed army, God, we see the devices of the enemy and we tell the enemy today that your stuff ain't working, that every time that everything comes upon us. We don't speak negativity about it. We begin to tell the Lord, thank you for a little pain in my ankle. Thank you for a little pain in my knee. There are some people that are paralyzed from the waist down. They cannot feel anything. Every time I get a toothache or a headache, we're crying about it. Lord, help us to begin to say thank you in spite of the pain, my God. What about the other individual that's taking chemo for the second time and refused to complain? Forgive us of our sins. Yea, God, that we're forever coming to the altar, complaining over the most minute things, my Lord. Lord, and so I speak today with power and authority. 
I speak, God, and say that, that the struggle is over in the name of Jesus, God. Our struggles are over. In the, we declare victory over our lives in every circumstance, God. All the prayers that we've already laid down on the altar, God, we understand that those trying times in our lives were merely trials and tests, God. Help us, God, to be overcomers, that we don't seem to go back and walk down that same path way of yesterday, God. Those faults, those ills, my God, those are times of unforgiveness, Lord Jesus, that seem to come back and to want to swallow us up, God. But we are walking in victory. We're declaring victory in the name of Jesus, God. And we thank you, Father, we thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah, we begin to thank you, God. For the blessings of the Lord, make it rich and addeth no sorrow. We begin to bless your name, Father, and honor you. You are the God of our salvation, Jesus. And we bless you, God. We thank you for the trying times. We thank you, God, for we can see temptation. We know what it looked like. We know what it smelled like. We can see it up on someone else when they're tempting us to be angry now, God. We won't be provoked by every situation, every conversation any longer, God, for we see it and we stand in the power of Jesus. Help us to understand the power that we already possess in you, God. We are blessed to have the power of your presence within us. Oh, God, the Holy Spirit that is present within us, bring all things to the forefront of our minds, God, that we can see the devices of the enemy, and we are prepared as soldiers in this army. And so we bless your name, Father. We thank you. We honor you, God. We thank you, and we honor you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, God. First Peter 1, 3, and 8 reminds us, blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again into a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you. For our names are written in the books of life. Yea, God, who are kept by the power of God through faith. We are, we are kept, God, because we want to be kept in you until salvation ready to reveal, be revealed in the last time, wherein ye greatly rejoice. Though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations, that the trial of our faith, your faith, my faith, being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor, and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ, whom having not seen, ye love, and whom though now ye see him not, yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, God. Help us in our faith walk with you, God. Yea, God, that we were walking by faith and not by sight, God. Not by what I see, not by what I feel, not by my past circumstances, God. For I know today, we know today as Christian soldiers in this army, God, oh God, we have already declared victory over our lives, God. And we stand today in the power and the might of the Holy Ghost. And we tell the devil, your stuff ain't working. Mm. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. We rebuke the enemy on every hand. We come to destroy the works of the enemy through the power and the blood of the Lamb, God. We pray the prayer by faith, God, in the name of Jesus. We are strengthened in the weakest, innermost parts of our being because we are relying on Jesus. When I'm weak, that's when God lifts me up and makes me strong. For I am relying on the power of Jesus, for we are walking by faith and not by sight, God. 
Help us, God, to feel the security in the Holy Ghost, that we trust you the more, that we love you the more, that we're speaking, oh God, joy and peace and happiness and praise into our lives, God. In the name of Jesus, we speak positivity, God, over our lives. Life and death is in the power of the tongue, and we walk by the faith of God. Oh, we trust you, God, like never before. We believe you, God, like never before. Hallelujah. We have the victory, God. Hallelujah. The promise is already ours, God. We have the victory in the name of Jesus, God. We declare victory over our lives, God. Hallelujah. But we say now, what we know now, we didn't know yesterday, we won't complain, God. Evil communication corrupt good manners, God. We won't be caught up in those situations any longer. We know better, so we do better. We speak praises over our life. We speak joy over our life. The victory is already ours in the name of Jesus. We declare it. We declare it. We walk in it in the name of Jesus. Yay, God. In the name of Jesus. Victory is already ours in the name of Jesus. We declare it, God. We thank you for peace. We thank you for your joy. Hallelujah. Thank you for your love, God. That the love of God would abound even more so in us. Yeah, God, we are soldiers in this army, God. We got our war clothes on. Oh, God, we, we have the armor on, the full spiritual armor on, God. Yeah, God, we're in the battle, and we know that it's already won. We're not, not asking for, for, for the winning hand. We're walking into the battle already, declaring that the victory is already ours. For whatever situation that we're in, we're declaring today that we are overcomers, God. Any separation amongst families, God, we declare victory right now. Any, 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 any uh, a confusion amongst husbands and wives, we declare victory right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, how the, 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 the deceiving enemy would come in and have brothers against brothers and sisters against sisters. We declare victory right now in the name of Jesus. How the enemy comes into our churches, peeks his head in, takes a seat, speaks in I don't know what kind of tongue and wants to start confusion in the church. We declare victory right now in the name of Jesus. All of my past sins are wiped away. I will not continue to wallow in those same old sins. They've been thrown over into the sea of forgetfulness. I declare victory. We declare victory together as a united body. We stand in the power and the might of God that we declare victory is already ours. Those temptations that once had us, God, we will not yield to them any longer. We declare victory in the name of Jesus. Victory. Victory, victory is ours in the name of Jesus. We declare victory in the name of Jesus. Yay, God, victory is ours in the name of Jesus. We declare it, we walk in it, God, we walk in it. Whoa, loose here, Satan, in the name of Jesus. The shackles are loosed, oh God. We pull down strongholds over our lives, over our children's lives, oh God, over our loved one lives, God. We are interceding by prayer, God, trusting and believing, God, that it's already done. It's already done in Jesus' name. Victory is already ours in the name of Jesus. Yay. Oh, victory is already ours in the name of Jesus. Victory is ours. We declare it, God. Oh, God, hallelujah. Help us to walk in the test that you put before us, God, with no complaints. Woo, believing my God. Hallelujah. That my mind is restored. Yeah, God. I'm renewed already by the blood of the Lamb, God. Oh, God, we've been washed by the blood of the Lamb. Oh, God, we've already conquered the situation before we get into it because our mind is Christ's mind. Yeah, God, we know that we, we're more than conquerors in the name of Jesus. We declare it, we walk in it, we prophesy it to ourselves. We decree victory, it's already ours. Yay, God, yes, 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 God, hallelujah. <laughs> victory is already ours. It's already ours, God, hallelujah. So we thank you for the trial. We thank you for the test, oh God. Even the temptation that you put before us, God, we won't let it consume us any longer. For we see the devices of the enemy, God, and we rebuke the enemy on every hand because we plead the blood of Jesus. We thank you for being our sacrificial lamb. And we honor you on today. 
God, we bless your name. We bless your name because we are walking in victory. Yes, God. Hallelujah. We are walking in victory. In the name of Jesus, it's already ours. We decree it and claim it in Jesus' name. People of God, we thank you for joining us here for prayer. We pray on live on Facebook every Wednesday. We have a prayer line number that we pray on Monday through Friday. And the number is 712-770-5603 with a participant code of 688800 pounds. We pray 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 p.m. Central Time. Please share this prayer with others. Yes, share the prayer. And the, the theme for our prayer today is fighting temptation. The fight has already been fixed. We are already winners. We got to walk like winners. We got to talk like winners. We got to trust God that we got the victory in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Trust God for your victory in spite of the situation. Yeah, 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 because the enemy would, would try to deceive us that we haven't won. But I tell you, the fight is already fixed for us as Christian soldiers. We've already won the battle. Continue to join us here on the prayer line. We're so grateful to have you in the sanctuary. We're here on Wednesdays as well at the 7 o'clock hour. We are teaching Bible study. Bible. We're teaching Bible. We're in the book of Daniel in the fourth chapter of Daniel. If you happen to be in the this area, in the Covington area, you have time to make it here. If you're just about 30 minutes away, you have time to make it here. We teach Bible study for one hour. My God, continue to pray for us as we continue to pray for you, believing God for great things in your life. I declare victory over your life today in Jesus' name. God bless.